Alright guys, yesterday I was playing some Phantom Forces and I picked up the Deagle XIX from the ground and it performed pretty well for me so I decided to buy the gun and make a video on it. And also guys, if you haven't already, drop a like and subscribe as we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers at the end of 2020 and I spent 4,000 credits making this video, so yeah. Anyways, let's begin our video on a complete review of the Deagle XIX right now. Okay, the Deagle XIX is a rank country and 2 pistol, this gun can one shot head, one shot torso at medium and close range and drops down to 3 shot torso and 2 shot head at far range. This gun has a 1500 muzzle velocity, a 1.5 penetration depth and a 28 aim in total and a 4 inch fire rate which is not bad for its damage but the recoil is a bit harsh so it'll take some skill to actually fire at 400 fire rate and and just group all your shots together, which is, I tried it, it's kind of impossible. Yeah, let me get some gameplay for you guys using the Deagle XIX right now. Okay, so Deagle XIX is very similar to the Executioner. They both have high recoil, the ability to one-shot torso, and very high damage overall. The XIX, however, has less range, muscle velocity, and ammunition reserve, but to compensate for that, it has a higher rate of fire and ammo capacity. It also has the ability to put on suppressors, which is the thing the Executioner can't. The XIX is a very solid gun and has a very solid feel to it. This gun is a lightsaber sometimes as it possesses the power of a primary. Not to mention that headshots on this gun is very satisfying and its all aim is pretty badass. Once again, the recoil recovery is a bit slow, so its true fire rate is about 150 rounds per minute if you wait for the gun to go back down, and because of this, I would suggest for you to put on a blue laser as your attachment. Speaking of attachments, let's go over my recommended attachments for this gun. Okay, so my recommended attachments for the Deagle will be an optic of choice, extended barrel, and blue laser with the optional armor piercing ammo. But if you want to use this as a pocket sniper, go ahead and put on a police barrel, police stock, and armor piercing. As the police barrel increases the head multiplier and increases the muzzle velocity, but also be warned that the police barrel decreases the torso multiplier to one time so this gun can no longer one shot torso anymore. But yeah, the decoy is very good statistically and I would suggest you to use it. Just practice your aim and you're good to go. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before 2021. Consider joining my Discord and channel memberships. Link is in the description below. Anyways, I have to go now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.